welcome to this new installment at the E Academy. During one of our previous presentations, we explained remote programming of the GPRS modules. Today, we will continue on the subject of GPRS modules and present the basic configuration of the GPRS T2. We will show you how to create a basic configuration of the device so that SMS or clip notifications are sent to the indicated phone numbers after input violation. Functionality of the GPRS T2 module is mostly used to notify you of an alarm or power failure. But it also allows notifications to be sent for specific events such as arming or disarming. Thus, you will receive a message immediately after an event has occurred. What will we need for this? A PC computer with Windows operating system. The USB RS converter to connect to the computer. The GPRS soft program which can be downloaded free of charge from our website. And of course the GPRS T2 module. In today's installment, we will configure a GPRS T2 as if it were to be run for the first time. In the case of an already configured module, it is necessary to restore the factory settings of the device first. Where do we start? First, connect the GPRS T2 module to the computer using the USB RS converter. Then, start the GPRS soft program. Open the Communication tab and go to Configuration. Indicate the number of COM port on which your converter has been installed. Connection with the module is being established. A window appears prompting you to read the data. Selecting Yes will start the data reading from the module. Connection with the module has been established. In the next step we will show you what settings should be made to complete the configuration. You start from setting your own device identifier in the GSM Telephone Monitoring Stations tab. Then enter your SIM card PIN and SMS center number and save the data to the module. A very important note. Only now can you insert the card into the SIM holder. Otherwise there is a risk of blocking the SIM card. In order to secure the funds on the card, it is advisable to set a limit on the amount of notifications which can be sent per day. In this example, a value of 12 has been set, which means that after sending 12 messages, this module will stop sending further notifications. Then enter the phone numbers to which notifications will be sent into the list of numbers to be notified. You can enter up to four such numbers, for example, to the building owner, or to your immediate family, or to a neighbor, etc. Let's now go to the Inputs tab, where the basic parameters will be set for the inputs. In the Inputs tab, set type for each of the module inputs to be used. In the present typical configuration, it will be the no type that is normally open. Set this type for the first three inputs. Now we can go to the Clip SMS Notification tab. In this tab, select the notification method for each input and phone number. The table structure requires that the installer selects the cell corresponding to the input number, the number to be notified, and determine the method of notification, Clip or SMS. In practice, simultaneous SMS and clip notification is the most frequently used because such a method guarantees the SMS message will be read by the user. For the first input, set the SMS and clip type of notification to the numbers on the list to be notified. For the second input, set the clip only and for the third input, the SMS only. In the present example, these two forms of notification are separated to show that they can be set individually. At this point, all you have to do is to save the settings to the device. Now the module is ready to work according to the options configured. To find further information on the basic configuration of the GPRS T2 module, please follow the link under the video. And that's all for this installment. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next installments at the E Academy. See you next time.